I bought five micro SD cards with the same size, from the same shop, and from the same brand. And this time around, I'm not gonna test specifically if the capacity is correct or if the speed is any good. I'm going to put each one of these micro SD cards into one of these filled with a different liquid. These liquids are water, salted water, vinegar, nail polish remover, and coke. What I'm wondering is if any of these substances will attack the micro SD cards to a point where they will become unusable. As an example, with the salted water. You film your family vacation, you put it in your pocket and you go swim in the ocean. Is it ruined? Well, I'm gonna find this out. A day later and the results are in. All of these cards are truly 64 gigabytes. And all of them have the same speeds with a margin of error. So now let me introduce the liquids. Regular tap water. Extremely salty tap water. Vinegar. Nail polish remover with acetone. And last up, a good old American Coke. So here's what I'm gonna do. I put all of these cards into the liquid, then I will observe them and see if they change every day. And after seven days, I will take them out and test them again, if they are still testable, that is. So let's start with putting them in. So far I see no changes, but maybe this will change within minutes, who knows. Now it's seven days later. And to be honest, I didn't check on the microSD cards after the third day, because I didn't see any changes whatsoever. Let me start off with the microSD card I had in water. For every microSD card, I will first place it into a little bath of isopropyl alcohol, just to rinse them off. This is the one left in water. The front looks practically the same. The back looks the same too, even the little printing is still visible. Next up is the salt water. Same as with the regular water, there isn't really a change, but you can see very little salt particles still stuck to the SD card. The back, however, is quite interesting. You can see already that the contacts look different, but this isn't because the contracts have been corroded or whatsoever. It's because the salt started to crystallize on the contacts. So I will have to clean that off before I test it and see if that did any damage whatsoever. Next up, we have the vinegar. Now, I might just imagine this, but it looks just a tiny bit lighter in color than the ones in water, but other than that, other than that, absolutely immaculate. But you can see here that the contacts, they look a bit attacked to me, just ever so slightly. Next up, I'm gonna do the Coke. It still has some fizz. The Coke also shows no change on the front and no change on the back. Even the contacts are extremely clean compared to the vinegar and the salt. Now last up is the acetone. Now I'm gonna show you what I thought would happen, at least with the coloring on the front. Now you can see that the acetone microSD card was slightly attacked. The paint is slightly faded and you can see tons of spots throughout the paint job. But the bag once again is, is pretty much unchanged. And it certainly did not look like my example happened with this microSD card. Now it's time to check if these microSD cards were affected at all or if they just run the same as before. The results are in. The water, the salt water and the vinegar performed all within a margin of error. The acetone and coke, however, performed worse on the F3 write test, but performed about the same on the F3 read and on the KDisk mock test. Now, I did retest it, but got about the same results every time. I can't really explain why, because the contacts look absolutely fine, 
especially the acetone one, they look absolutely clean, without a speck of dust on them. And after those tests I can say, you can shower with your microSD cards, you can swim in the sea with your microSD cards, you can put them in a salad, and you don't have anything to worry about. And if you drop it into a bottle of nail polish remover, or in your glass of coke, as long as you take them out right away, I think you don't have to worry about them at all. That being said, I was disappointed in the acetone. As I showed in my example, I thought this is gonna be spectacular, the microSD card is gonna be gone. But what surprised me the most is the salt water, because it actually formed salt crystals on the contact. I might even want to leave one in for a month just to see how big the crystal would grow. All that being said, I'm disappointed with the results. I expected some destruction. In my next video, I will expose these microSD cards to various steps of heat and we'll see if that results in any changes or even destruction.